Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how I draw a line. I should also mention that in this video I'm using a mechanical pencil with HB LEDs on 150 GSM paper, but it doesn't matter the kind of materials you're using, as long as you're comfortable using them you'll be fine. I start off by drawing a horizontal line to keep the eyes aligned, and it's also important to note that the distance between the eyes is roughly two times the width of one eye. Once I'd drawn the outlines of the eyes, I drew some lines downwards from them to help keep the rest of the face aligned, like the nose and the mouth. The nose itself is a little bit narrower than the lines that I'd previously drawn, so I used some guidelines to help keep the alignment and help keep the nose centred on the face. Um, it's, at this stage you can use as many guidelines as you want to help you keep your drawings aligned, and I'd really recommend to use as many guidelines as you need. And once I finished the outlines of the nose, it was actually really simple to finish the outlines of the mouth and the chin. From there, I was able to draw the rest of the outlines of the lion's face, and these helps to give a guideline of where the lion's mane will start. And so that's why I left some extra space on the paper, because it meant that I could have some extra room for a large lion's mane. Once the mane was drawn and the outlines were completed, it was time for some shading. I started off by shading the eyes. Um, I drew dark outlines around the edges and I left some darker shading around the top of the eye but I made sure to leave some highlights around the top to help contrast and make the eyes seem a bit more 3D. I also shaded the eyelids around the bottom of the eyes and I left some longer hairs along the top and by leaving some lighter shading of the hair around the eye it helps to make it stand out so much more. For the shading of the nose, I drew some darker shading around the top of the nose and I left quite a lot of the area highlighted as the nose would actually reflect some light. I then added some dark shading to the nostrils and the shading actually reaches out further than the edges um, and lines up quite well with the um, initial vertical guidelines that I drew. I then added the shading that reaches downwards from the nose and then added a bit of shading to the mouth. And now it's time to shade the hair. Um, initially for shading the hair on the nose, it's extra short hair and it requires literally just dots um, and it takes quite a long time to build up the layers, so just take your time. It's always important to note that in a drawing like this where you're working on the hair, um, just don't overthink the placement of the hair. You can copy some references, um, but don't copy the hair exactly, because hair is always changing and if you're spending all the time thinking about the placement of like a single hair, then it's going to show and it's going to make the drawing look awkward. So if you just keep relaxed and just use confident strokes on the hair, you'll be fine and you'll build up the layers slowly and you'll create some realistic looking hair. I actually have a realistic hair drawing tutorial video on my channel, so be sure to check that out if you need some help, and I really hope it helps out in some way. Once I've finished shading the hair on the face, it was time to shade the lion's mane, um, and this required much longer strokes, and it actually has the hair actually has a much different texture than the hair on the face, and um, it looks much smoother. Um, and so for this part of the hair it was actually I very much used the technique that I used in my realistic hair drawing tutorial where I added some dark shading to the base of the hair and then there's a gradient going outwards um, with some highlights it's important to have highlights in drawings of hair like this uh, where it shows um, the light reflecting off the hair but it also makes the darker areas of the hair recede into the background and the lighter areas uh, come forward and it makes the drawing seem a lot more 3D and it gives the hair a lot more volume and movement. I think the best thing to do when drawing hair like this is to have uh, reference images in front of you. That's what I did and it helps me so much um, to see the way the hair flowed. And actually shading the lion's mane took the longest amount of time. Uh, overall this drawing took about three hours to complete and I spent most of that shading hair. Um, so hair is one of those things where you've just got to build up the layers of detail over time and just spend as much time as you want on the shading and the highlights. I think that's the most important part and make sure you definitely have some reference images in front of you and they will help you so much and I promise that. Um, overall I was actually really pleased with this drawing and I really want to know what you think. I really hope this video was helpful in some way and if you've worked on anything similar or if you've followed this video along then feel free to show me your work. Um, as always if you enjoy these kind of videos or if you want to learn how to draw then feel free to subscribe to my channel and any likes, shares, favourites, that kind of support is hugely appreciated and it really means a lot to me. 
If you want to contact me via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, I have all of my links in the description box below, so feel free to check them out and uh, contact me there, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel, it really means a huge amount to me, and I love working on these videos. I hope this video is helpful in some way. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.